Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install MongoDB on your Mac M1. First, you open the Google and type MongoDB and click the first link. Click the products and then click community edition. Now click the download community button and scroll down. So here you have to choose the version and for MacBook M1 I'll be selecting macOS ARM64 and then click download. So once the file is downloaded, uh, so this is the zip file, so you have to double click and it will automatically extract this MongoDB file. Click on this file or uh, you can right click on it and just click the rename and just copy the name of that particular folder and open terminal so what exactly you have to do you have to move this uh, file from downloads to your home directory so for that let's zoom it a little bit let me check where i am so this is my home directory for your case it would be like users and your uh, username okay so in this directory i have to move it so for that let's go to the downloads and then move this particular file to this Or simply you can just copy and paste and now if you want to go to your home directory just type CD and hit enter and do ls so now you can see this mongodb folder is moved to this uh, home directory and now we need to set the path of it so for that so we have to set the path of the bin folder I'll show you how oh, okay so here in the finder you can search for users and then this so this bin folders path we have to paste it in the ZSHRC so let's copy the oh, it's already so copy the bin as path name and now if you don't have the file in your home directory you can create it by using touch command touch dot zshrc this way since i have so i don't need to create it again so for me let's open it and here i have to paste the path so let's do it export it should be small e export path equals colon path then colon then paste the path of the bin Now control S, sorry command S and just close it and now you have to run this command source dot zshrc okay so till now we are good here so in the home directory we have to create one more folder which is db folder where we are going to store all the data of mongodb so let's create it and get here p inside the data folder again db so let's check okay the data folder it's created let's cd to this data ls okay you can see the db folder is here so now 
let's clear it let's jump to C so now we have to we have we have to bring the mongodb server so for that use sudo command mongo so let's set the db path and you can simply copy and paste it from here so let's close it in the finder here you just go and then data and this you just copy it and simply put it here and hit it will ask for the admin password whatever is yours you just type it and hit enter so you can see our mongo server is running so you have to keep the server running otherwise your local mongodb will not work so you just open a new terminal new window and here run this command mongo sh hit enter so now i can see we have this local mongodb running here just run show dbs so these are the default data are uh, created so i'll create a new database for that use youtube and db let's insert some data db channel dot insert one name is code or code let's hit enter and check channel dot find so as you can see one data is stored now i'll show how you can connect uh, compass which is the mongodb gui so for that you need to in download and install it first so to the same url there's a product you can just you have to click this compass and from here you can download it since i already have downloaded and installed it so i'll simply open mongodb compass uh, local host and this is the default uh, 27017 default port of mongodb okay multiple time i have clicked so that's why you know it's opening multiple tabs so let me just close it and this also close so just click connect and here you can see the youtube uh, db just now have created from the terminal just click it and this is the channel collection and this channel collection is having one data which is uh, code or code so that's all for this video if you find the video is helpful to you then like the video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe it